units, this is dispatch. We got extra units out on patrol today to help you bag some racers. Go get them. Listening to KRS FM News across the lake. As the election race heats up, Mayor Stevenson spoke to the press outside the Capitol where she doubled down on her commitment to law and order. I have fought too hard for this city to stand back and allow illegal gambling to take root in our communities. That is why the LPD is upping the ante. We're going all in on measures that you can bet will slash response times and double down on stopping crime. You can believe me when I say, I am not bluffing. Yeah, but you're happy to gamble with people's lives by pricing them out of their neighborhoods though, right? for you. You know Shimizu? He was my protege before you. I'm not your first racer. I'm genuinely hurt right now. I mean, you're my favorite. So his Ferrari left Ferrari needs collecting. Seriously? Man, he even has a better ride than me.
Hey, Rydell, I'm done. That Ferrari was a dream. Even Shimizu was impressed how fast you delivered his whip. I'm so proud of you. So you and him were tight back in the day? Oh, don't make it sound like that. Back in the day, I mean, it was the early 2000s. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you were there for that whole Y2K thing. Did you really think computers would end the world? Yeah. yeah that's why we partied like it was 1999. Uh, okay. Come on. You must know that one. Prince? The artist formerly known as? I'm hanging up now. Of course, tonight. Thanks, Rydell. Appreciate it. I know you can handle it, but just be careful. I would hate for you to lose all your hard-earned cash to the LPD. <laughs> yeah, speak your truth, Nurse Will. <laughs> so, Mateo. Are you talking to me, or have the fumes finally got to you? No, I'm reading my feed. Ah, oh, Mr. Rides all over the socials. Meeting people, virtual people, who are probably 70-year-old grandmas from Idaho. But still, good for you. So get this. Fast and Furry 23 was like, Mateo is so hot, I'm so sprung for him. Like, if he ran me over, I'd say thank you. And guess what Nerves of Will said? I don't know any of these people, so I'm gonna go with don't care. He said, Mateo is such an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. something I do from time to time. You need an assist? I do. Cool. Let me know where you're at and I'll head over. Grazie. Dropping a pin now.
So, for those who are just joining us, despite the clever turns of phrase and folksy charm, it's very clear that Mayor Stevenson wants us distracted from what's really going on. Maybe it's time for Lakeshore PD to take a look at the corrupt criminals running these streets, not the ones driving past. Oh, snap. Looks like Stevenson's been put on blast. Heavy has joined in on the pursuit of suspect dispatch. We're chasing his birthday on two. We've been hit. We're not going anywhere. Took us out. Control, this is ineffective. We're going after this one, too. This white strip up ahead should take this bird out. On that perp, reinforcements are en route. All units be advised. Perp has entered Underwood Garden. One driver, man! We just lost that damn perp in Underwood Garden. Hook around! Find his jackass! Consider it done. You've done this before? Once or twice. What happened? Was that a new installation by a local artist who specializes in guerrilla art? Guerrilla art? She takes existing corporate sponsored artwork and gives it her toco personal. Gusto. Personal touch. Wow, well, I bet those corporations love that. They do. So do the Sbirri when she does the same to their friends. <laughs> so, uh, you into art? I'm into capturing young women's experiences and make sure whatever expression that involves. Where are the cause? Somebody has to document this work before it's torn down and replaced by una schifezza vapida. Yeah, it would be a shame to see it replaced by vapid... Crap. Yeah. Crap. Imagine if your work was taken away from you before the world had a chance to appreciate it. You forget he has stole my car? So much drama has happened, darling. I can't keep up with you. Dispatch, I think I see that suspect. interested you should check out what I posted today yeah definitely it was a pleasure to hang ciao darling Dell? Who knew car parts cost this much? I'm running out of vital organs to donate. Yeah, building a prime ride doesn't come cheap. I always got jobs to do if the kid needs some easy money. 
No offense, but we need stuff with big payouts. Mm, I find big payout kind of work usually has a catch. No risk, no reward. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, man, I can't believe we lost that punk. Re-engage the suspect. Chopper on the scene, dispatch. Yo, Speedy, I'm looking at the numbers. We need some serious cash before this qualifier. We'll make it. We need to up the stakes a little. Why do I get the feeling Rydell won't want to know about this? Relax, Speedy. I'm not gonna get my golden goose into any trouble. Not this close to the grand. If you say so. I'll hit you up when I got something. Black. Corn dogs at the fair, hot dogs on the grill, a deep dish on the fourth. Wrong. It's all of the above. Because freedom isn't plant based. Vote Parker for mayor and taste the freedom. I wonder if freedom tastes like chicken. Got my boy Kevin in here today. Blonde hair, Kevin? Box head, Kevin. He got the one mean looking eye? No, 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 that's mean looking Kevin. You know a lot of Kevins. Yeah, Kevin was telling me about this garage near him that got raided by the cops. They just shut the shit down. No questions, just gone. That's probably some punk ass grease pit full of scrubs who ratted on each other after pulling some shady shit. That ain't us. Yeah, you're right. We got a possum, not a rat. How's my favorite racer doing? What, you got more than one? Whoa, 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 just a figure of speech. Got time to pick up a Testarossa? Well, that depends. Can I drive it down a coastal road with the top down while listening to some synthwave? Now that you mention it, got a collector who wants to complete his suite of cars from old arcade games. Hmm? And this is the last one. See? It's like it writes itself. Yeah, something like that. Racer last seen in Griffith Parklands. is going to end up in some rich asshole's personal museum. Dispatch, this is undercover. We're on the scene. Undercover, 
over here. We're going in for the assist on this arrest. AWD has arrived and we'll wrap this up fast. Hey, holy moly! Fallon just vanished in Yams Park. Sweep the area! Find him! I see the suspect you're after. Say the word and I will engage. Dell's right. Need a lift? This is Anichka. You will save me from the bastard cops, yes? I can do that. Drop me a pin. Hey, you did great out there. Customer called and said the car looked pretty much perfect. It ain't that easy getting a car back right now. There's a lot of heat, and it's pretty risky out there. Look at us, risk takers. Us? Well, I'm about to eat some five-day-old sushi, so you do the math. I ain't gonna lie. I hate the idea of a car like that sitting in a garage somewhere, gathering dust. We're just procuring these things. It's up to the clients what they do with them. Procuring? Huh. What? The only thing I'm procuring is a bunch of barely believable stories. Ooh, I'm hurt, Speedy. I'm sorry. Just kidding! I stopped listening to you a while back. I see the suspect you're after. Say the word and I will engage. Got this. Your confidence is inspiring, but we will see. You know, you're not the first racer who's been targeted. We live in dark times. What happened? The eternal struggle between self-expression and the nanny state. Petty bullshit. I feel you. 
Where can I take you? My safe house. No problem. Cops are really coming down hard. Yeah, because Mayor Stevenson has her dogs on a short leash. Yap, yap, yap. Shoo, shoo, tiresome puppies. You don't like Stevenson much, huh? As the funny girl says, maybe it's time for Lakeshore PD to take a look at the corrupt criminals running these streets, not the ones driving fast on them. about Lakeshore. She's vibrant, authentic, always surprising. The city? The city, yes, but this vitality is as life is not stones and bricks. She comes alive through her people, through our community. I like that. I do not say it to be cute or nice. I say it because it is the truth. The police do not find strength in community. Their strength comes through fear, and fear is always weaker. Why were the cops chasing you? <laughs> Mayor Stevenson thinks she's an icon, the beating heart of Lakeshore. She gave us a billboard. I painted it red. That's pretty bold. They tried to catch me, but I evaded them. So now I'm infamous. And every fat head with a badge wants to deliver you on a plate. If she tries to make a meal of me, I will stick in her throat. Yes, my garage, with all its own weirdly incredible smells. You're welcome here, too. Thanks, Anechka. We are each other's community now, but do not expect me to go easy on you. There are still races to win. Not so dobre. Welcome back to Dip Ford's Late Lake on KRS-FM, the number one station in the lake. Tonight, our special guest is Mayor Stevenson, and she'll be answering your questions. This next one is from Candace. She says, I regret voting for you. All you seem to care about is crime street racing in particular. But what are you going to do about the rising cost of living in my neighborhood? Okay, uh, Candace. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for that question. The way I look at it, with all the progress we made with construction in Lakeshore, uh, this has improved the lives of everybody. I mean, if anything, I, I would argue that crime has contributed to the rising costs in our neighborhoods. And how is that possible? Uh, we've had to clean up the streets, uh, increase police presence, to name a few. Uh, these things don't pay for themselves. Uh, we all have to do our part. Hey, hey, I got another job for you. Range Rover Sport. Nice. I've always wanted to race through some storm drains. Send me the details. Time to off-road, kid. All units be advised. Additional units are on standby. Copy, dispatch. These racers won't know what hit them. You know it was the same shit back in the day? The city has always been cracking down on us. Sure, some street racers have side hustles that are bad for the city, but most of us do it because this is an art, okay? The city is our canvas, and painting all of us with the same brush, it ain't right. Even racers from the Heights? Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it, but hey, we're fixing our own lives here, aren't we? We don't need Mayor Stevenson to come in here fixing it her way. No, for sure. Remember that, kid, and you'll do all right out there.
Range Rover delivered. Your number one employee did it again. My only employee. You're so damn fast, you're leaving those fools in the dust. Yeah, I tried getting into the Burger Academy, but failed the written test. Ah, <sighs> now you got me craving a bacon double cheeseburger. Later. All right, mighty. I got a nice little number that needs dropping off straight away. What is happening right now? Fancy grabbing your wellies and putting a mini countryman through its paces. Oh, I see. You're attempting British. Ta, old bean. Doo -doo pip Uncanny. Like the queen herself just called. Is with the customer. Yep, they call. Spectacular driving. They were really impressed. So is that all you got for me? No social media fails or snack requests? Hey, I'm not that predictable. So you don't want me to swing by pizza by Alfredo and grab you a pie? Hawaiian. But don't put no pineapple on it now. Hold the pineapple. <laughs> Never change, Rydell.
guys. Tonight, we're talking about Stevenson's latest soapbox, the problems of everyday people. First of all, I'm surprised she even knows any, living up in her fancy mansion in Kennedy Valley. But real people are finding it hard just to get by, to feed their family, or to get work, even get scans and meds. Look, the cost of living is sky high, and the mayor's splashing cash on traffic cops. We need police in the community, not on the roads. Street racing is not the problem, Stevenson. You are. This is undercover. We have a Speedy! Wanna make a quick buck? I don't know, Tess. Is it ever a quick buck? Oh, ye of little faith. What's this one? We're finishing a transport job. Not sure what happened to the original driver. Sounds easy enough. So what's the catch? No catch. Pin dropped. Holler at your girl when you can. Peace! Hey, it's me. Just checking in. You need anything? Pep talk. Ooh, ooh, I saw this great movie last night. It's about this girl from a different dimension who lands in our dimension and... She has special powers, and the government wants the special powers, too. Spoiler alert. They're lizard people. Guess I can cross that one off my watch list now. See? You don't have time to watch these things anyway, so I'm doing my civic duty. Oh, oh, snap. Gotta go. Munchies are here. <laughs> lizard people. That's not real, right? Right. told me how you're doing out there. Good things, I hope. Oh, it's Tess, so you know I gotta work out what code she's speaking this week. <laughs> I hear that. You know what I'm gonna say, right? Pimp it, don't scrimp it. See? It's catching on. Well, it's in my head now, so maybe it's got something. Hey, so the spins are playing tonight. You wanna catch the game when you get back to the garage? <laughs> as long as I don't hear you complain about them not hitting Duncan in the post, I'm in. I swear. Okay? See you soon. Check. Cops check. 
test excuse. Undercover is here now. We got eyes on a pack. Target is lost. Let's get in on this action. I'll take it. So, what fantastical story you got in store for me now? This guy was transporting this car. Then he just vanished. Vanished or arrested? You say potato. I say it's bullshit. Hey, I operate on a no questions asked policy. And a no questions answered policy. Now you're getting it. Hey, you wanna be a movie star? That's <laughs> every kid's dream, right? Well, you're gonna get your chance. A movie producer needs some PR for his latest and greatest. We wouldn't want to let a movie producer down now, would we? Great. We got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Maybe. I don't know where you are right now.
I got the car. You got your CB radio up and running? CB radio? You know I'm driving a Pontiac, so you're... Not following. Never mind. Heavy sees the suspect and is engaging. Heavy joining in on the run control. Dispatch, we can't continue. Sorry. Heavy here to have some fun, too. This prop's gonna get away from us, folks. Just pulled a vanishing act on Southland Drive. Sweep the district. Find this asshole. manager called. Producers very happy. Said things look great out there for the PR campaign. I'm not sure being chased by a bunch of cops is good PR, but maybe that's why I'm doing these jobs for you. No, it's perfect. He's doing a reboot of an old movie about some wisecracking, mustachio, driver on the run from the law. Great. Just what the world needs. Another reboot. What's wrong with the reboot? This is your 14th job and you're not getting tired of that drive fast escape the cops formula. Later, Tess. Just think, this time a couple of weeks back, we almost had to shut this place down. Now I'm having to turn folks away. Garage ain't been this busy in years. Sure wish my pops was here to see this. Hey kid, if you 
wrap up early, I'll be over Deering's watching the spins lose again. I'm telling you, I got a better jump shot than half these bums. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should throw on the old short shorts and high socks and get on the court with them. Ha <laughs> ha. If the garage business don't work out, maybe I will. I'll see you tomorrow, kid. Tip Ford's Late Lake on KRS-FM, the number one station in the lake. That was Boom Boom the Room with Y Jenny Y. Mayoral hopeful Holden Parker III has joined me again. Thank you, Simon. Dip. So, let's talk about your recent run-in with animal rights activists. We have an evolutionary obligation to stay at the top of the food chain. Eating pigeon, swan, mm, anything really. It is not just appropriate, but required to keep the circle of life in check. <clears throat> right. Um, recently, these same protesters got your highly controversial llama meat ramen restaurant shut down. Well, there's no such thing as failure. It's just pre-success. So let me tell you about my next culinary adventure. Does it involve swans? A chain of French patisserie shops with a hint of the river fowl. I'm calling it Swan Bon Bon. Viva la revolution. Hey, Speedy. Yo, where you been? I'll tell you where I've been. First in line for this midnight release of these sick new collab high tops. One to rock, one to stock, and one to sell to the sucker in the back of the line. What size are you? I'm in 11. Kidding. I'm not that loaded. Yet. Have a good night out there. Laters. <laughs> Yeah, you've been spamming my socials with sushi from about 50 different angles. You should feel privileged. That is high-grade content. Uh-huh. Got a car I need you to collect. Sending you the location. Got the pin. Any info you want to share? Not on this one. Caller was... vague. Just said it was a repo job. I'll expect the unexpected. Or just the expected. Right. 
reckless driver in my sights. We've got a fresh sighting of the suspect at Jefferson Hills. vanished in Jefferson Hills. Dispatch, pursuit's back on! Chopper, on the scene, dispatch. Gone. The suspect's gone. Turn over every stone in this part of town to find this punk. Test. Car collected. Got cops on my tail again. Ooh, it's like that film when the same thing keeps happening over and over. Groundhog Day? No, Little Women. It's not the same thing, Tess. They just keep remaking it. Whatever. Interceptor here for the assist, dispatch.
This is dispatch. Looks like we lost that suspect in Apollonia District. Do what you gotta do to find this jackass! company just called so the car was in perfect condition Tess no word of a lie that one felt weird almost like someone was in the car with me Ooh, spooky the guy who called said the previous repo man never showed maybe he got abducted why you always gotta go so extra extra terrestrial goodbye Tess weeks to go until election day, most major polls are showing Mayor Stevenson's lead shrinking to less than half a point. When asked to comment, her office said, this shows that democracy is alive and well in Lakeshore. Mayor Stevenson is confident that the people will show up and vote for a stronger, safer city. Calling all units. Today's a two for one. We got additional units out there. So no excuses if you come back empty handed. Finally, we're getting the support we need to stop these racers.
Oh, no. I know he didn't really get a 15-foot gold statue of himself. For the bathroom? Oh, jeez. Welcome back, lovers. Next up, we're talking about the mayor's latest campaign rhetoric. Anyone who's seen her dropping a cool few grand on red at the Palazzo Casino knows she likes to bet. But she's betting we'll all just forget she defunded an entire rehab center in Cyril Heights. That she's funneling government construction contracts to a company she works directly with. <laughs> oh, she likes to gamble. But she's gambling with our lives. So hear me, Madam Mayor. I'm about to cash in your chips. Yo, what up? It's Rocky. Hey. Wow. Uh, how you doing, man? All good. Road on the street is you a contender for the grand now. I'm working toward it. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Yo, I'm dropping you my location. Come pick me up. We go for a spin in the bins and all that. Hell yeah, man. Heading there now. Out and about. I was putting in the hours, Speedy. That's why you're my number one. So, uh, hold up. Ooh, some rando is hitting me up. Got a dip. Later. Dangerous driver in my sight. Show me what you got. Man, I can't believe this is happening. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. It's not every day you're sitting next to ASAP Rocky. I'm actually pretty nervous. <laughs> People don't get to know that I'm human just like them. I go through struggles just like them. I go through frustrations and everything. As far as my accolades and accomplishments go, it's, it wasn't easy. You know, and um, like I said, I'm just as normal as everyone else when it comes to that matter. People just assume once you're on superstardom that you kind of don't bleed or, you know, or shit or sleep or anything. But uh, for me, it's more so just uh, making it, just showing people that we're all relatable in the same sense that we all are the same in the same sense because I deal with everyday struggles just like anybody else. Most of the time, a common person only correlates struggle to economic problems or you know financial problems, but everybody has problems, regardless of if it's economical or not. And so, yeah. Yeah, man, right? The car's dope, Rock. You ever think about racing? Yeah, I thought about it. I had to see what the comp was looking like first, though, you know? And? Let's see if you live up to the hype. Oh, that I can do. Well, that's funny, because from what I see, it seems like you spend all your time arguing with your former teammate. That don't really sound like a contender to me, dog. Oh, stuff about the car? Look, it's complicated. It's always complicated. Real winners channel that shit, though, and perform when they need to. That ain't gonna be a problem. Yo, use that shit to your advantage, man. Focus up. Get right. Oh, I ain't gonna disappoint.
got these rims. Yo, you did that shit. That was mad. Yo, that go about to look real good on you. I did my best, all things considered. So, what got you into it? Well, I'm speaking to the youth. You know, I'm speaking to the youth, and I'm speaking to people of all different backgrounds. We all share the same thing, which is struggle. And for anybody struggling, I just want some words of encouragement. There's a lot of people where I come from who have a lot of capabilities and different backgrounds, but we never really exercise those tools or anything like that because we're so stuck in our situations or trying to live up to a facade that was, you know, put in front of us that we got to live up to and other people's expectations. I think all we strive to prosper is just creating your own path for your own destiny but not going rogue and not giving up. It's always about the encouragement. You must have put in a lot of work over these years. Yeah, I think the hard work is key. Obviously, man, you know, it's all about not compromising. It's about fulfilling what you set out to do. As a collective, we just represent that. We try to embody that. How so? Well, ASAP, meaning always striving to prosper. It's not what you think. It's not as soon as possible, but we took a positive riff on and put a spin on something that meant quickly. But for us, it's everything but fast. It actually has more of a positive perspective. And it was some form of encouragement that promoted prosperity and ambition amongst the young brothers, especially in my neighborhood and my crew. And we wanted to run with that. We needed something to look forward to with all of the chaos and, you know, regular ups and downs of life and our circumstances. You seem really passionate about this. I want, I want people to know that, especially about me. I'm, I have insecurities, I have obstacles. I have ambitions and I have failures just like everybody else, just like all of us. And best part about life is waking up to be able to accomplish it again and do better. And that's just, that's it for me, man. You know, I just wanna encourage people that who all share struggle or is sharing a struggle, even trying to accomplish anything, man. I just wanna give them that ambition, man. So, Words of encouragement. Always strive, always prosper, man. Gotta say, it was real nice hanging with you, Rocky. Likewise. Always good to see what potential competition gonna be like. Hope I get a chance to race against you. Just put some racks on it. I'll catch you out there, player. See you at the starting line? You know it. Peace. I see the suspect you're after. Say the word and I will engage. Go whatever you have at this 
asshole. Punk Raptors in a Porsche. This is dispatch. Suspect last seen in Apollonia District. Keep them in your sights. Reinforcements won't be... Right there? Looks like it.
Yo, that shit was tight. You did your thing out there. the disappearing act at Edgewater. Search every inch of Lakeshore for him.
Last seen entering Rose Hill Drive. Roadblock should take. You're quiet today. Me? Hey, I'm not complaining. Everything's cool. Listen, I'm a. What? What? It's all right. Just nervous. Want some baby powder? Hey, how you doing? Nervous? I'm not nervous. Just want to get to this qualifier. Well, you're in good shape. Car up to spec? Check. Cash in the bank? Check. Thanks, Tess. And thanks for looking out. You've helped me and Rydell a lot. Oh, Speedy. You're gonna make me cry. Now go out there and win that race! I won't let you down. Said that. Huh? Well, sorry, kid. I got another delivery job for you. Lamborghini Countach. Dropping you a pen. Okay. Weird. Hey, kid. You know what's up with Tess? She seems less Tessie. It's kind of freaking me out. I mean, with Tess, who knows? She hasn't said anything to me. All right, well, look, if you do notice she's acting weird, let me know, okay? Tess is always acting weird. And that's exactly my point. But keep me posted. See you around the garage. You got it, right now.
I've delivered the Lamborghini, Rydell. Uh-huh. It all went great. Uh-huh. Okay, what is with you? You did great. Cousin was very happy. Sorry I'm a little distracted. Yeah, I can tell. I kind of messed up. Go on. I didn't want to be rude, so I accepted a friend thing. And let me guess, we got hacked. I just clicked on one link she sent. Oh my god, baby panda sneezes. I will fix it when I get back. Thanks, kid. Yes, she seems less Tessie. It's kind of freaking me out. I mean, with Tess, who knows? She hasn't said anything to me. All right, well, look, if you do notice she's acting weird, let me know, okay? Tess is always acting weird. Now, that's exactly my point. Keep me posted. See you around the garage. You got it right now. You know, I was thinking, you should maybe ease up on the kid a little. Take some of the pressure off. What do you mean? I just think we could all take a step back. You know, win or lose. It's really about the friends we made along the way, right? You can read myself a book. It's good, right? Look, it's good to keep the options open, stay adaptable. I just saw this doc about a fish that can turn into sand. It turns into sand. Literally. Mother Nature's teaching us, bro. Hey, you call me? No, you called me. Okay. Tess, you good? What? Yeah, no, uh, it's cool. Guess I'm just stressing about this qualifier. You got this, right? Yeah, you know it. Good to know. See you tomorrow. Sure thing, Tess. Hey, you sure you're all right? Probably some bad gyoza or something. Okay, if you say so.
Hey, Tess. Everything okay? Sure. Look, wanna do one more pickup before the race? <laughs> Why not? Dropping the pin.
Let's track this pump down. Next time we turn the heat up. Got the Lotus, gonna head to the drop-off. Great, call me when it's delivered. <laughs> no banter? Maybe later. Scan the district and find this scumbag! <laughs> entering Apollonia District. We've got very little fight left in this dispatch. Elliot, sight of the perp. strip should take this perp out. Oh, we're coming for you, scumbag. This chase is getting wild. Suspect vehicle taking hits here. Thanks. So what yarn you got for me now? Nothing. This one was nice and simple. Seriously? Thought you wanted simple. Not all of these deliveries come with an outlandish story, Speedy. No, I mean all of them except one, right? Yeah. Uh, look, I know I never asked, but I how do you know about all these cars anyway? You know, some connect I found. Right. Catch you later. All right, you know where I'm going with this, people, but I'll say it again. Cougars are not pets. <laughs> Yo, I just want to shout out my girl Candace, who gave the mayor a filthy read on KRS-FM News Across the Lake. What are you going to do about the rising cost of living, Stevenson? And I'm not talking no spelt sourdough and avocado toast, okay, but basics. Enough food to feed a family of four. I'd regret putting my ex in your box, too, if I was old enough to vote. Plenty of people ain't gonna be voting for Stevenson after hearing this.
I feel safe. I feel safe. I feel safe. Do you feel safe? Re-elect Mayor Morgan Stevenson. Paid for by Penny Safes of Lakeshore. A safe you can't crack or your money back. <laughs> the mayor's dirty laundry is going public. Her polling is down. The people are starting to see the bigger picture. This podcast is working. Hey, you know what else works? Mealtime. A new, new app designed to keep your meals on time. Hey, kid. Just wishing you luck. <laughs> Thanks, Rydell. Just got to cross that finish line first. You still got that baby powder? Does a 1967 Mustang have a 289 cubic inch 2VV8? That's what I'm talking about. Now remember, all over, and I mean all over. Yo! Seriously good news. Whatever happens out there tonight, we are made in the shade, my friend. What are you talking about? Find me after the race. About to open some serious doors for this team.
are hot on the heels of those suspects now. You control here. I'm gonna take this street pump down. All units, intercept us first on the scene. Suspect took us out! Patrol is joining the others in pursuit of a suspect. These street races are causing a lot of damage control. All units, interceptors joining in on the chase. in this real suit control. We're taking big hits out! 
out here. Interceptors on the scene. Time for some fun. Ready to join pursuit of the turf. Don't worry, I ain't gonna hold it against you. Are you feeling the pressure yet? We're joining the chase team. Everybody here is throwing down on you or Jasmine for the Lakeshore Grand. So how much are we putting down on me? <laughs> About that. Let me float you something. Where's Jasmine? Oh, hey! Hi! What are you doing? Oh, you made it to the finals. Guess you're finally ready to lose to me. This, this is what I'm talking about. People love in this drama, huh? Mm -hmm. Thanks to you, Pinks. Yes, thanks to me. But you know what's better than drama? A surprise ending. What if you didn't try to win, huh? What? I'm here to help bury the hatchet, you two. Check it. Alec wants to cut us all in on a deal to fix the final race. What's this bullshit? You think I'd really throw in with her and her crew after what she did? Remember why you got into this. Stacks, right? Look around. The real money's in the gambling now. Who cares about winning the race? Besides, if one of you crosses that finish line first, your boss is gonna lose a lot of money on these bets. And you know better than me what he thinks of losing. You know, you better dip before I tell Alec about this shit you're trying to pull. 
Just the messenger, girl. You sure you know him? I ain't throwing shit. That one, well. Never bet on just one horse, huh? Don't screw this up for us. Think about Rydell. Don't talk to me about Rydell. We're done. I told you how this works. I open doors and we make money. This was that door, bruh. This was that door. So that's how it went down last night, huh? Not sure I'm more disappointed than Tess or this whole scene. Hmm. Fixing the race. Not how it's supposed to be. It ain't right. But you got them worried, which means you're the contender. This ain't over. <laughs>